Howdy all you happy campers. This is Hunter Pruitt, the RV hunter, down here at McLean's RV in Sanger, Texas. And we're in my favorite kind of camper. I love toy haulers. And of course we're in a Grand Design. This is the Grand Design Momentum 21G and actually one of our last remaining 2022 year models. Found that we had a few more of these in inventory than we typically have. So I wanted to make sure that you were even aware of this kind of floor plan. Because why I love toy haulers, and this is actually a bumper pull toy hauler, is the versatility of this rear space. For those folks who have unique work needs, want to bring along toys, have pets, or need to sleep larger adults, what's neat is that this 21G is actually just shy of 27 feet. It's 26 feet 11 inches, just shy of 7,000 pounds dry as it sits. But in terms of versatility, what's neat is that you're only towing a 27 foot box, but when you get to your destination, you're able to drop this rear patio down and you turn what would be a 27 foot camper into, you're adding eight feet to it. And so basically turning it into what a 34 almost 35 foot camper that's incredible and the other thing about this being fully self-contained that's what's really appealing to me personally you have a cummins own generator on board huge tank sizes i'm talking 96 gallons of fresh water 74 grand 39 black that's substantial when you're going down the road um, and wanting to go to those off the beaten path places because again it's sub 30 feet pretty towable for those that have half tons as long as you're not putting a big heavy toy back here but again in terms of versatile space these actually flip right over make into beds really comfortable seating space it comes with a dinette table that locks right in place there and then you do have cup holders um, but then you whenever you have these flipped all the way over you can actually raise it all the way up at night on an electric bail, uh, bed rail system um, at your main monitor panel and these chains will actually bring this bed all the way up. It's unique because you're not having to pull a pin any longer to release this upper bed. Um, really stretch yourself. What you do is in all four corners, flip this little lever right over. It is gonna release this top bed from its resting mechanism right there, you can see. It'll put the weight onto this pin and bring it all the way down to its resting plate there. Then when you're ready to store it back up again, you just use that electric bed rail system, flip this back over the other way raise it all the way up, and then when it gets to the top, it'll lock right back into place. Super convenient, very easy to use, and that way you're not really spending hours making up and down the bed. This is very, again, versatile space is the best word for it. Um, but beyond these uh, couches at the back, you do have additional seating with the really comfy Euro-style recliners that you can position to face on the TV that's in this entertainment area. Have the Rockford Fosgate sound system, plenty of storage, not only above the entertainment center where your monitor panel is located here for little knickknacks, shallow storage, but above the Euro-style recliners, they gave you really deep glass front real wood cabinets that shouldn't obstruct you whenever you are bringing in a toy. This is a 14 foot garage. It's brother floor plan, the 23G, does have a 15 foot garage with a little bit of a uh, countertop extension here and it has a king bed instead of the queen bed, but we'll get up to that bedroom. But in terms of storage, you don't have a designated pantry, but what they give you up over the sink is substantial. And I kind of like their design of this little half shelf up there. So you can really fill this space. Of course, all these cabinets are actually screwed into wood, ran through their aluminum framing. You have R7 insulation in this travel trailer toy hauler, R40 in the roof, and R45 in the subfloor with a 25-year warranty on the subfloor decking. A lot of toy haulers, especially in the travel trailer segment, you're going to have issues if you start putting heavy stuff back here because the 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood can't handle it. The marine grade decking, again, has a 25-year warranty, won't wick water, and will support all that weight. But you do have the undermounted stainless steel sink, tons of storage under the sink, window up above so you can enjoy all your views but that's again why I love these toy haulers is the views that you get out the back there but we'll go back out to the patio once we give you a feel for the inside space make sure that you like what you see in here nice three burner cast iron cooktop flip up grease guard additional glass counter top and deep oven microwave and more overhead cabinet space. In terms of maximizing every square inch, this is just kind of a test testament of Grand Design's design team. That's your water heater, real easy to get to in terms of winterization, but they actually even give you storage right there. Who does that? You know, floor vents anywhere in any Grand Design, um, they're all side mounted with the even flow heat system, 12 volt fridge and freezer, because you do have a solar package on this, in addition to the generator. 
and then the big old 10 inch Rockford Fosgate sound system and with a subwoofer. Some people buy this camper just for that sound system. But we would buy this camper really for the fact that you get a bed slide and then all that versatile space again in the back. Being able to walk around the bed is really nice. Have all these overhead cabinets, little ledges along the side. And then along the back here, plenty of storage in what would effectively be your wardrobe. And then more hang up space here. That is really deep. And then the secret to any, what would be a seemingly small space, let's put a mirror in it, right? And it's backlit, really nice little touch. You'd also get little windows and get some cross breeze going with the side shelves. And I will tell you that this is my ace in the hole for those of y'all who have not found a travel trailer that has a shower you can fit in because this is a shower that would rival some fifth wheels in terms of height. Again, being six foot even, I've got another two to three feet above me. You are not claustrophobic in this shower. It's really nice. A little bit larger shower head as well. Deep sink, nice black hardware. I actually give you a medicine cabinet here with more under sink storage as well. And of course, a porcelain toilet. What else would you expect from Grand Design? But let's get back to the kind of bullet point and the main focus of this toy hauler floor plan. And that is this rear patio. What I love about this space is again, usually in any sort of bunk floor plan, very few rear living floor plans even will give you the views that this gives you. And you have these sliding glass doors to where, I mean, right now we got a nice breeze, um, but if you wanted to close it off to keep some of your AC or heat inside, you just have little pinch tabs at the bottom to raise and lower them. But then to go out on this patio, these will actually swing open, but this patio rail system, super easy. They redesigned it. If you watched our last 28G video, Grand Design has since changed their patio system and made it super simple where so even one person can do it. This bottom foot locks much better in place. And then you have this other latch on this side. This flips right over. And then locks right here. I mean, how quick was that? That was in real time. We weren't in fast forward mode. But an actual functional gate as well. So again, this is what I love toy haulers for is it's the epitome of camping. You have an electric armless awning that comes out over the top. And so whenever you have kids, little ones, dogs, they actually even come with little mesh liners that you might've seen on those sofas to keep anything from escaping along the sides. But this just makes it so nice. If you're going down to Port Aransas, the coast, and you want to camp out on the sand in up in the mountains, you just drop this down, enjoy the views and bask in nature. But going around the side, we'll touch on just a few more features. The ladder has uh, two pull tabs at the base. This extends entirely to where you can actually, you don't have to tippy toe if you want to maintain your roof. It has actually a 300 pound limit here. You do have a 30 gallon auxiliary fuel tank here that doubles as the fuel supply for your 4,000 watt generator. Furnace, Goodyear Endurance tires, no China bombs with Grand Design. Six gallon quick recovery water heater, recharges every 20 minutes, 17.8 gallons an hour. Enclosed pump station, all your hoses run up underneath. They're not just exposed to the elements and an outside shower right there along with your battery disconnect. And then this, when you are talking about value, is substantial. No other travel trailer besides toy haulers can you install a generator on because there's no fuel source. And this just allows you to go to all the good places that nobody else can get to. Then coming back around to the front, they do have a new uh, color scheme on this. You have the white J-Wrap underneath. And then really neat LED lights that if we weren't doing this in broad daylight at high noon, you could actually see a little bit better. And then along the very front, I have a massive storage compartment that goes all the way to the top. Your tire pressure monitor system is in here, along with a motion sensor light 
and a spray port for that outside shower. There's also a place to mount an outside TV because again, this in terms of versatility and camping really gives you the function to enjoy both the inside and the outside and whether or not you're hauling gear, want to have versatile desk, office space, or hey, just get away, just you by yourself and bring along some toys. Because of course, we talked about how this is a patio ramp, but it is a toy hauler at the end of the day. You release these carabiners, fold these back flat, and you're driving toys right up there. 3,500 pound weight limit on this ramp. It is really unique, these toy haulers. We just don't think enough people are aware of them, so we really appreciate you tuning in. Hope that you enjoyed this 21G. Again, it has a brother floor plan of a 23G if you need a slightly larger garage or a king bed. And we have a whole line of these uh, Grand Design Momentum uh, toy haulers, in both fifth wheels and travel trailers, that we'd love to showcase for you. But tell us what you want to see next. Again, this is Hunter Pruitt, the RV hunter. I'm at the McLean's RV location in Sanger, Texas. We have five convenient locations in Denton, Rockwall, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, and of course here. Just here we have the uh, state's largest RV sales and service center with the KOA campground on site and just love to provide good service and partnering with families to help you find the perfect camper. But again, thank you all for watching and tuning in. This is Hunter Pruitt. Y'all stay happy camping. Take care.